how to lose 20 pounds. I got that coming right up for you guys. Kill the intro. Welcome back. It's your boy CB the trainer and this is the official YouTube for Fit Life Nation. Our last channel got canceled. I don't know what happened, but we lost everything. Um, so we're starting brand new and fresh. But if you were a Fit Life Nation member before, go ahead and hit subscribe again. And to any of our new viewers, if you like the content that we're going to be bringing you guys, please don't forget to hit thumbs up on every video and also subscribe to us for new videos coming every single week. All right. Also, in addition, comment below what you guys want to see. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos. So comment below what you guys want to see. My purpose for this page is to grow on you guys i want you i want to be able to help you guys as much as i can everything that i'm going to be telling you guys is stuff that i've went through i won't tell you guys anything that i haven't done personally myself all right but let's dive right into it my top tips for losing 20 pounds this isn't in any specific order but my top tips nonetheless all right tip number one you have to be at a caloric deficit basically meaning you're taking in less calories than what you consume on an everyday basis. So let's say, for instance, a person that takes in 3,000 calories. Um, they say you want to take in 500 calories less, so that person is taking in 2,500 a day. That's not how I did it, all right? You want to try to preserve as much muscle as you can. So you got to think about it. Those 500 calories that you're taking away from your body, you're also taking away from your muscle. And that's what we don't want to do. We want to try to keep as much muscle as we can because it takes the body it takes the body twice more, twice as much to withstand muscle than what it does to actual fat. All right. So how I did it was I started off with 300 calories. Um, three, I started off with cutting 300 calories a day. All right. So typically I was supposed to take in 3,500 calories or so. I took in 3,200 calories. All right. But addition to that, I did cardio every single day i'm not telling you guys this is what you have to do but i did cardio every single day um you can split it up i've tried all of them i've done cardio two times a week three times a week do it to what fits you best as long as you're in a caloric deficit you're fine all right so start with 300 calories then slowly once you once you get that 300 calories down pack graduate to four once you get that down pack graduate to five you know also and all four um until you get to where you need to be at but try to keep mixing in that cardio so you don't have to keep cutting back on your calories you really want to you really want to diet on as much as much food as possible and calorie um cardio helps you do that all right on to tip number two you guys have to have a morning ritual if you go to the gym and you ask anybody that you see who looks like they're in shape to you um do they have a morning ritual i guarantee you at least nine times out of ten they will take you. Yes, they do. A morning ritual is something that you can stick with every single morning. So let's say, for instance, me, every single morning, I wake up, I use the restroom, I weigh myself, um, I make sure I write that down, and then what I do is I drink at least two gallons, uh, two glasses of water. Not gallons, sorry about that. Two glasses of water. The reason being is, first thing in the morning, when you start to drink water, it gets your body going and it gets your metabolism running already. A lot of people try to drink water throughout the day, but by that time, they're already so far behind on their water intake that they're basically playing catch up. So drinking water first thing in the morning will actually benefit you. Um, I put L-carnitine inside my water. L-carnitine is great for utilizing fats um, as fuel. And that's going to go with one of the other tips I'm going to tell you about. But L-carnitine is great for that. I also drink a, um, a glass of green tea in the morning, um, typically because I fast. So that caffeine actually helps me get it going helps me get going and it also utilizes fat loss as well all right then you know i brush my teeth and i get the day going that's my morning ritual you guys have to develop a morning ritual no matter what it be some people do sit up or um, ab works in the morning some people do push-ups in the morning whatever it is you guys have to do something to get your day started all right so on to tip number three yeah tip number three all right um weight training you guys have to weight train if you're not weight training, get in the gym. It can be something simple as a three-day split. You can do like a push-pull legs. So you can do a full body three days a week. Whatever it is, you guys need to start weight training. Weight training is great because you're not only are you going to build the muscles, but the more muscles you have, 
um, the more fat you lose. So that's a whole nother avenue that you guys should be going down. And it's, it's, it's great for fat loss. If you had to tell me whether does cardio or weights work better for me with fat loss, I'm going to choose weights over cardio any day because you can do cardio all day long, but you're just going to be a smaller version of yourself that you are now. Yeah, the, the weight, the number on the scale is going to go down, but you're still going to look the same compared to if you're actually building muscle, it starts to tone and sculpt your body. And that's what you guys want. I ask my clients all the time, would you rather just the number on the scale go down and you look the same as you do now? Or would you rather maintain the same, basically the same weight that you are now? and look better than you ever have in your life. That's that's the difference, all right? So um, going on to tip number four, and it goes hand in hand with the weight training, like I told you guys before. You guys need to do cardio, all right? Car that is, it's not weight training or cardio. Do both of them. They're gonna benefit you better than one over the other. So do both of them, whether um, you do cardio every single day, you split it up and do it two times a week, three times a week. It doesn't matter. What I was doing when I first started was I would weight train. I was weight training six days out of the week. Um, I would weight train. And then after every single session, what I would do is some type of form of cardio, um, whether it be steady state cardio or as hit cardio. They have all type of different cardios you guys can do. Um, you have to pick what's perfect for you though. Um, so typically, let's say after a workout, I may just get on a treadmill and increase the incline to about 10 and the speed to about 2.5 to 3. And I would just walk after that. Um, and that's that's what I did. That actually helped me lose a lot of fat um, and also cut the weight down. You guys do whatever you feel is comfortable for you guys. Also do hit. Um, hit sessions can be anything jump roping boxing you can get on a treadmill sprint for 15 seconds jump off for 20 seconds however you guys want to do it it's all up to you you have to literally put this in your perspective like what you will be able to keep up with because you can't do what i do because it's not going to work for you all right i'm just giving you the tips that i've done but try to try to personalize this for you guys all right on to the next tip Drink plenty of water. People don't realize how much water does for your body. Like, you really need to drink water. And I don't mean just a little bit of water. I have clients all the time. I'm like, okay, um, how much water do you drink? And they're like, I drink a lot of water. Well, what's a lot of water? I drink about two bottles a day. Two bottles a day isn't nearly enough for your body. Your body's composed mostly of water, guys. So you guys really need to drink a lot of water. I drink a gallon and a half to two gallons of water a day. Yeah, you got to go to the restroom a lot, but it complete it, it, it starts to flush your, your body out. Um, and also drinking water will decrease the water weight that you guys have. So right then and there, you'll start to see weight loss. <laughs> All right, on to the next one is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is something that I practice on a daily. Um, when I first got into intermittent fasting, it was hard. I felt hungry all the time, but... After a while, your body just get used to it. I fast for 16 hours a day, and I eat for the other eight. Um, so typically, I eat dinner. Um, I stop eating dinner at 8 o'clock, and then I'll fast until 12 o'clock the next day, and then basically just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. What it does is intermittent fasting, it forces your body um, to use the fats as energy because it has no carbs present. You're fasting. So right there that's that's a major benefit for you guys is forcing the body to use the fats because our body never wants to use fat so forcing it to use fat is a major benefit for you guys all right um next tip that goes with the fasting try fasted workouts fasted cardio um like i said there's nothing else in your body so your body has no choice but to utilize the fats as fuel so it's it's a win-win yeah it may feel different for you guys at first you may be a little sluggish you may lose a little strength but once you get used to it it feels like nothing it feels like a regular day in the gym whether if you ate something or not and then my last tip for you guys is be patient you guys have to be patient um if you can't stick with something um it's never going to work for you guys so it kind of like patience and consistency um goes hand in hand on this tip 
you guys have to be patient and you guys have to be consistent you have to stick with it even when it gets hard and you may feel like i'm not losing anything because it's going to get to that point i've been to that point but if you keep pushing and you keep believing and have faith in what you're doing it's going to work guys you have to stick with it though you can't stop get back on stop get back on stop get back on it's never going to work if you put in 50 percent you're going to get 50 percent of the results you know i can't explain that no better than what it is you have to put the work in, be patient, and be consistent, guys. And I promise that weight's going to start to go off. I lost 20 pounds in two months, guys. Two months doing this. Yes, I'm a trainer, but at the same time, I'm still human. Um, injuries plagued me. So not to make any excuses, but I let myself go after a lot of injuries. After my second knee injury, I let myself go. But the difference was I was able to look myself in the mirror and tell myself, this is your fault. You got yourself into this, you can get yourself out of this. So I got on the ball and I started doing it, guys. And you guys can do the same thing. 2018, it's time to make a change. Let's make it happen together. All right. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Also, leave any comments below on what you guys want to see next. Like I said, I'm going to be bringing videos to you guys every single week. So please leave your comments. Um, don't forget to share with your friends if you like this video help somebody else out that's what that's what my goal is to help as many people as i can all right i love you guys you guys have a good one welcome to the new youtube let's get it